Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some wardrobe supplies that you need in your collection, like in your closet, in your wardrobe. Wherever you keep your clothes, you need these items that's gonna help you look more polished and more put together. Now, I was gonna do a video of like wardrobe staples that you guys need, but then I thought about it and I was like, let me start from the beginning. Start from the basics, okay? Like, start from the very, very beginning because I can give you pieces, like I can show you pieces that you'll need, but if the pieces aren't laying right, fitting right, looking right on you, it defeats the purpose. You can spend a thousand dollars on a blazer. If you don't have the right tools, like literal tools to make that blazer look nice on you, you're not gonna look polished and you're still gonna look cheap, okay? Now you can spend $10 on a blazer and as long as that blazer is fitting you right and you have these wardrobe tools, you're gonna look so polished, so put together, so well-dressed and no one's gonna be able to tell that you spend $10 on your blazer, okay? So if you're interested in knowing about these wardrobe supplies here today, then just continue to watch. Before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure the red button turns gray. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Hey guys, so the first item we're gonna talk about today is a steamer. I keep my steamer in the laundry room, so I'm just gonna move over here and <laughs> put a photo of the steamer right here for you guys. Guys, a steamer is everything. You can have an iron, definitely have an iron and an ironing board. <laughs> but for me, the steamer is life, okay? It's easy, it's convenient. You can really get into like little nooks and crannies of the item that the iron, like the iron can get into it, but I feel like who has the time? We done spent 50 minutes in the shower during our shower routine and figuring out what fragrance we're gonna wear. Now we're gonna need our clothes to be nice and steamed. We wanna look polished, but we don't wanna spend a whole bunch of time pressing, okay? So invest in a steamer. Guys, I'm telling you, it's definitely a great investment. I'm gonna link everything that I'm speaking about today in the description box below. Guys, get you a steamer, okay? It's, it's necessary. All right, so we're not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just literally gonna be grabbing stuff from my basket. This is my literal basket that I keep in the closet, in my closet. And I just, like I use this all the time, like whenever I'm getting dressed. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is a makeup cover. So I decided to do this video because I did my reel on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, um, yeah, like what are you doing exactly with your life? Like I feel like, you need to follow me, like not now, but right now, okay? <laughs> um, so I did a reel and I had this on. I didn't think you guys were gonna be asking me like, where did you get the, the makeup cover? Like I thought like a lot of people had this, like this is necessary. Guys, let me tell you something. Makeup is beautiful. Like when my face is beat, like you can't tell us nothing, okay? Like right now my face is beat and what you telling me? Nothing. But makeup on the clothes is not cute deodorant makeup nothing like that on your clothes is cute so i have a makeup cover especially when you're putting on white clothes if you're a bride or you're about to be married make sure you have a makeup cover guys this is very very necessary so you don't get makeup on your clothes it doesn't matter how much you pay for your top or your dress if you have makeup stains on it it's not cute like it's not cute at all it's not giving anything it's giving dirty um it's giving unpolished it's giving unkept so definitely invest in a makeup cover and when i say invest this is like this gotta be like 5.99 like honestly guys like i said everything's gonna be linked in the description box but this doesn't cost like it is definitely less than ten dollars and i have one two and three guys i don't play with my makeup covers because one thing i despise is makeup on my clothes now this has a zipper in the back as you can see now i don't always zip it like honestly i probably zip this like one time but i don't typically zip it because once you put it on your face it pretty much stays and i'm not going to put it on but <laughs> you put it on like this like your chin goes there and then you you know bring this back behind your head and you can zip it like I said if you're putting on something really tight where this is going to move around then possibly zip it but if not then you could just put it on like that you know make sure it goes back like you put your chin here and then you slip it back and you're not going to have makeup on your clothes because like I said it's not a good look when makeup is on your clothes so that's the first thing I want to show you guys 
So another thing that can stain your clothes that does not look good, although it doesn't have a color, is deodorant. So this right here, guys, this is an amazing sponge to get deodorant out of. Now, if you get deodorant on a shirt, like if I got deodorant on my t-shirt right now, you can always take the fabric of your shirt, like, and just rub it out. But then you're gonna wrinkle your clothes. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> when you could just have a deodorant sponge, we're civilized, okay? It's 2022, we're not doing anything uncivilized. Like, if you have static, yeah, you can roll around on the ground on the carpet, but who's doing that? Like, who is doing that? Like I said, we're civilized, it's 2022. Get you a deodorant sponge. Guys, this takes a deodorant right on out. Okay, I would demonstrate for you, but I don't have deodorant on my clothes, so I can't show you. But if I just put this shirt on and I have a deodorant stain, all I'm going to do, that's it. Just simply wipe it out. This is what it's for. Like, that's exactly what it's for. I'm not sure what type of, it's like a sponge. Um, but It's like a soft, kind of compact sponge. But it's amazing, guys. Get the deodorant right on out of your clothes. So the next thing that I want to show you is a lint brush. So I have a lint brush and a lint roller. So if you have a wool coat or a cashmere coat or a blended like wool and cashmere blend or something like that, this is excellent for getting lint off of like your coats, like heavy duty garments. You can put this on regular clothes too, but honestly, like I just like the roller better for things like that. But if you have anything that's like wool or gabardine or any of those harder like stiffer fabrics this is amazing to get all the lint out of your clothes guys there's nothing worse than having a coat or a scarf or any garment with a lint that can make your garment look very very cheap and it's not cute okay you're not looking polished you're not looking put together it just looks cheap it doesn't look good so definitely invest and when i say invest let me stop saying invest because i don't want you guys thinking that these products are expensive this is probably like 5.99 like i feel like everything here with the exception of the steamer is less than either ten dollars or less than five dollars okay so it definitely gets you a lint brush now this is a lint roller as you can see i already used this <laughs> If you have hair on your clothes or, you know, lint or anything that just needs to be picked up, this is tape. Let me take this layer off. So you can just peel this layer back. Like once it's all dirty, as you can see, it's dirty. Peel it back and then you start with a fresh new clean sheet. Get rid of this and you have your clean sheet. Get all this. Like literally, I use this all the time when I'm doing my videos, guys. I always remember to lint my clothes, especially when I'm wearing white and the hair is shedding or something like that. You wanna get the hair, you wanna get the lint. Hold up. You wanna get everything that's on your item, especially black clothes. Black clothes, you gotta be careful with the black items because they show everything. So speaking of lint, we have our electric lint remover. So you turn it on guys, it's battery operated. It has a cap on it now let me tighten it so it's battery operated if you have any sweaters that are peeling and have you know like especially underneath the arm like you want to be careful with things like that guys because you can wear a sweater one time and after that one time like the friction of your arm being here and moving around it's going to cause your sweater to peel and you're going to have all types of lint rolls and lint balls going down the side and also on the sleeve. So don't get rid of the sweater. Like it's not the sweater's fault. It's just the nature of the fabric. The lint brush and the lint um, sticky roller, it's not enough to get the lint off of the sweater. So you definitely need one that's battery operated that's gonna give you some more power. And it's just gonna literally scrape it off. Like literally, you know, you just do that, run it up and down, wherever the lint is, but definitely focus on here. Because when people see that, like, guys, that's not cute, okay? Like, you definitely can see that when you raise your arm. And the sweater could be new. Like I said, it's not the sweater's fault. It's just the nature of the fabric. Get you one of these. You'll save your sweaters. You'll save money. You don't have to keep buying sweaters every season. Like, I know some people who buy sweaters every season because they're buying fast fashion. And let me say something about that. I have sweaters from Zara that I've had for years. If you know how to take care of your items properly, especially those items that don't cost a lot of money, that's probably not the best quality, you can take care of them and have them for years, okay? Don't wash them in the machine. Don't put them in hot, um, like a hot dryer. When you get lint on them, don't just throw them away. Remove the lint with this tool and you'll have your sweater. So 
although you only pay $50 or $60 for your sweater, you can still have it if you know how to take care of your garment because you can get a $1,000 sweater. It's still gonna get linty. It's still gonna peel, okay? Like, let's just keep it real. <laughs> so make sure you have one of these for your sweaters. So the next thing I wanna show you is my static guard. Guys, like I said, in the old school, they said drop down or put the item on the ground and step on it, step on a rug so the static will come out. Listen, what, listen, we're not doing that, okay? We're not doing that. We're gonna buy some static guard. We're gonna spray our items down, civilized, in 2022, and we're gonna keep it moving, okay? We're not gonna drop down on the floor and get our eagle on. No, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna take off our nice, expensive item drop it on the floor, step on it. We're not doing that. We're just gonna get static guard. So this is the one that I use and I absolutely love it. Like I said, everything will be linked below. Guys, static is the worst. Like honestly, <laughs> there's nothing worse than having on a skirt or a dress and you think you cute, you strutting, you trying to pump by and then your static is like making your skirt come up. Like that's not cute. That's not cute at all. So you want your garment to hang and lay nicely. So definitely get you some static guard. Another item is a Jamie stick. So that's what this is right here. So let's say you're out, right? You're at dinner, you're wearing a silk blouse, you're really cute, you're put together, you're polished, and somehow you got some type of a food stain or grease stain on your silk blouse, okay? Or your jeans or your blazer or whatever the garment is, you got something oily on it. The Jamie stick is going to save your life, okay? Let me show you how this looks. It looks like chalk. Let me open it but you got to open it really carefully because it gets really um like chalky like it looks it's like that let me put take it out some more so it looks like that it just looks like a chalk stick and it's a very like chalky kind of consistency rub it in the area that the oil or the grease or something has spilled and it's definitely going to absorb all that grease and it's going to look like you had no stain when i tell you guys this makes the grease stains disappear no lie no cap your grease stain will be gone like seriously if you have a big enough purse this is why i tell you guys like i can't do them little purses like i try because i do have some of my collection but it's just like every time i have those little purses i feel like oh my goodness i need this like or i need you know something that can't fit in a little purse but this definitely guys is a necessity i'm not the type of person that spills food on me a lot but there's some people who food will get on them often, you know what I mean? Or maybe somebody that you're with or something happened, you open something and some type of oil spilled on you. You're gonna need this because you're not gonna wanna leave and go home. Like your night started early, you got the stain on you early, and now it's gonna ruin your day or your night. You're not gonna be able to take photos because you're gonna have a big stain like of oil like right here or something like that. Get you a Janie stick, okay? So the next item I wanna show you is a seam ripper. Guys, this is very, 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 very important. Like, I cannot stress to you how important having a seam ripper is. First of all, let me show you something. So this is my French Connection blazer. I absolutely love it. This color is everything love 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 this so when i initially got this blazer this right here what we call vents it was closed it had like the little um you know like the x marks the spot thread right here just keeping it closed that's how it comes when you're you know getting it from the store you need a seam ripper to open this these vents need to be opened okay never ever 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 keep this stitched up okay always open that another thing for my fellas this is a woman's blazer so there's no label here but if you're a man labels always come somewhere on the sleeve of your item it may say michael kors it may say gucci it, may, it doesn't matter what it says get it off okay i don't care if you spent three thousand dollars on a sports jacket and it's tom ford do not, I repeat, do not keep the label here, fellas, please. It doesn't look good. It's like, I don't, mm, I'm not gonna go in, but it doesn't look good, okay? Make sure you take it off and how you remove them is with the seam ripper. Definitely your best friend. Another thing, 
your pockets. These slit pockets right here, you wanna open them with a seam ripper. These aren't supposed to be closed. You use a seam ripper and you open them. You can rip it open, but honestly, depending on how much you pay for your jacket or if you wanna just make sure you're not gonna you know, put a hole in it, just get a seam ripper and boom, bang, bing, three seconds, it's done. Like bing, bong, <laughs> it's done. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is a shoehorn. Men and women need this, we all need this, okay? So I have a shoehorn here. I also have this. Like, you know when you buy shoes and it may be like a little bit too tight and you gotta like break it in? You can put socks on and line the shoe with alcohol, walk around the house to break the shoe in that way. But for me, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm putting alcohol around the shoe if I need to and I'm using this to break my shoe in okay like keep it overnight your shoe will be nice and comfortable in the morning so now once your shoe is nice and open and you can get it in and it fits properly this is what you need to actually put the shoe on now you can use your finger some people use their finger or they'll just like you know do the you guys can't see my feet but i'm doing like the dance like shuffling the foot in the shoe that can ruin the shoe so you're going to want to get a shoe horn you just put it in the back of your shoe and slip your foot down it's perfection okay another thing this you can get this for like two dollars guys like this is not a lot of money but it's definitely a necessity so another thing for shoes sometimes we buy shoes that can be a little bit too big for us because we got a sale it's the right color we just love it we want it we can't leave it alone but it's flopping off of your foot okay that's not a good look and it's also not comfortable so you're gonna need something like this So, and let me get a shoe. So here we have a Christian Louboutin shoe. I love this, this color is everything. Isn't it guys, it's so pretty. So let's say this shoe was too big for me. So there's tape on the back of this. You just remove the tape and you just put it back here. You stick it right there. So that way your shoe isn't flopping off of your foot. You know what I mean? Like you want to be able to walk and strut and slay. But if it's flopping, you're not going to be walking, strutting or slaying <laughs> for that matter. So you put this right here and it's going to make your shoe fit better. And it's not going to be flopping off of your foot. So let me put this back. Hold on. I'm that person, guys. If I take something from where it belonged, I need to put it right back. That's just, it's the OCD in me, whatever. Um, I think everything, did I show, oh no. Okay, so the last thing that I wanna show you, this is very, very important, and it's top stick. So let's say you're wearing a low cut top that's loose, not tight, and you bend down. You know, like you reach over to get something or you bend, like you don't want all your girls out. Unless that's what you're trying to do, okay? But if that's not what you're trying to go for, you need a top stick to tape the inside of the blouse to your bra or like to the top of your chest so that when you bend, your top isn't gonna be like revealing everything there. And also, one of the main things that I love to use top stick for is for a button up shirt. So let's use this shirt right here. So I've never worn this. This is um, Jeannie Mai for INC, uh, you guys know, like this is my favorite from Macy's, the INC brand. I probably shouldn't have used the white top because it's gonna like drown everything out, is it? Let me see. So let's say you have a button up shirt, a button down shirt, whatever, and it's kind of pulling by your boobs. And sometimes it still fits, but it still pulls. You wanna stick the top stick here, right? And then you're gonna button it, but you're gonna button the top and the bottom, but then you're gonna put, after this is stuck here, you're gonna remove the, the, stick, the tape, and then you're gonna close this like that so your blouse can lay flat. Because sometimes that happens. It doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't fit you, but it just means that you need some top stick to make it lay better. Because there's nothing worse than having gaps in between your buttons. Like that's not polished, that's not cute. One of the last things, I said that was the last thing, right? This is another thing. Hangers. 
let me tell y'all something. The right hanger or the wrong hanger can jack your garment up, okay? These hangers are absolutely amazing. First of all, they're very thin and you can literally fit so much. Like, look how much room I have there. Like, I can fit so much more clothes here, but I, you know, spread them out. I actually do the finger space. Like, if you guys ever worked in retail, <laughs> Remember how you had the finger space? That's what I do. I finger space everything so it's, you know, it's like nice and neat, whatever. But this hanger comes nice and round around your um, shoulders. So nothing is going to be poking out through your garment, especially if you have something hanging for weeks and months. You don't want the hanger to be poking out and leaving that indentation. I mean, you can steam it out if you have a steamer. But if you don't have a steamer, then you need to have the right hanger. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, let me show you guys something real quick. So typically I fold my sweaters and I usually tell people to fold their sweaters. However, with these hangers, you don't actually have to fold your sweaters. You can hang your sweaters because of how the hangers are. Like these hangers I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, I'll link them, but they don't leave any weird indentations in my sweater. Now, but let me show you something. The proper way to actually fold a sweater on a hanger, you do this. You close it here, right? And then you get from the underarm here and you stick the hanger through the crook of the underarm. And you just let the sleeves hang down like that. This is the proper way to hang a sweater. That way you don't get the indentations. However, like I said, with this hanger, it's fine. Like I don't have any indentations in my sweater. But typically, if I'm not folding my sweater, this is how they should hang over your hanger. So like I said, close it and just, you know, put the crook of the underarm right there like that. Let me show you again. Let me demonstrate it again. Cause I know somebody gonna ask me. Okay, so you close the sweater like that, right? In half. And then I just hold it from the underarm and I just stick the hanger. Just stick the hanger there in the crook. And then you take the other part of the sweater and just bring it around. So the hanger is actually just, well, the sweater is just like hanging over the hanger. So this is the proper way that you want to hang your sweaters if you don't have good hangers. But like I told you guys, when I found these hangers, first of all, these hangers are just like, they just look chic. <laughs> you know, it's all uniformed, one color. And you can fit so much more items like in your area because when you fold your sweaters that way, although it's good for your sweaters, you can't really put that many sweaters there. Like unless you have a really, 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 really big closet and you have a lot of hanging space, then, you know, you can possibly do that. But for me, like I'm not working with that much space. So this works perfectly fine for me. So let me put this back. All right, y'all, so I showed you the supplies. My next video, well, not next, like right after this, but I'm also gonna do a video of items that I feel like you should have in your wardrobe, like for spring and summer. Staple pieces, it's gonna make you look put together, but I'm glad we got the basics out the way, right? Like, you know that if you have lint, you need a lint brush, you need chopstick, you need a seam ripper, you need a steamer, like just the basic things that's gonna keep your wardrobe looking nice and clean and polished. So leave it in the comments below and let me know if you want me to do a video showing you spring and summer essentials, okay, clothing wise. And if you want me to do more clothing and fashion videos. So let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.